And let's discuss the Rams preseason opener versus the Chargers with the Wizard of Odds, Kenny White and Mr. Football Game Plan himself, Emery Hunt. Good morning, gentlemen. All right, Rams, Chargers, Chargers favored by three, the total sitting at 32, a roommate tussle, if you will, but no Matthew Stafford for the Rams in this one, Kenny. Yeah, and, and no, no uh, Justin Herbert either. Uh, the both both these coaches, and you're right, it is roommates. Brandon Staley coached with Sean McVay. Uh, he believes in everything that Sean McVay did. He's a Sean McVay clone, and uh, why not? Because Sean McVay is one of the best in the NFL and what he does. But uh, he doesn't care about preseason whatsoever. He's not going to play any players that uh, uh, of any significance, and he's going to be boring and vanilla as can be. And so <laughs> is Brandon Staley, and that's. That's just the way this game will be played. This will be a scrimmage game, basically. Now, the first eight games of preseason all went over the total. After last year, with our first year of three weeks, everything went under, it seemed, in week one. The numbers were very, very under. But this year, 8-0 and o to the over, all games. So we've seen this total now go up. I went under 31 when I first saw the number because uh, I made it 28. I thought this would just be, again, a scrimmage game. And I'm still thinking it's going to be a scrimmage game. It will be the most boring game of the entire night because these guys just want to get in, see some players, and get out of there healthy. You know, what I love about preseason, that it's a draft analyst dream because you get to see these back-end guys get out there and compete. And when you really break it down from a betting perspective, you have to look at the depth of the rosters. Now, both teams have tremendous depth, but I do like the quarterback room more so with the Chargers. So I'm taking the Chargers straight up here on the money line. But I also want you to keep an eye out for tight end Say Surratt, who's coming off of a USFL championship with the Birmingham Stallions. He's a receiver at Wake Forest. Now moved to tight end, played tight end for the Stallions. He should get some burn today. And also Dean Leonard, the cornerback from Ole Miss. He was drafted in the CFL in the second round by the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Played at the University of Calgary instead of going to the CFL. Went ahead to Ole Miss, and I saw him at the Hula Bowl. He was outstanding. 6'3", about 200 pounds, can run like the wind. He's someone that should stand out defensively. So I'm excited to see those young players, and I think the Chargers win this ball game. Emery, a man after my own heart, talking about kids from the CFL that are playing in the NFL. If you take a look at the Vegas Outlook comparison for the two teams as they head into the 2022 season. Talking NFL preseason games with the Wizard of Odds, Kenny White, and Mr. Football Game Plan, Emery Hunt. I'm Jeremy St. Louis. Let's talk about Dallas at Denver as the Broncos uh, make their preseason debut alongside the Cowboys. Total here sitting at 33 and a hook. Uh, Denver slightly favored, three and a half. We were hoping to see Russell Wilson start for Denver, but according to reports, those chances are very slim, Kenny. Yeah, I don't, you're, we're not going to see Russell Wilson in this game. I don't know if we see Russell Wilson in preseason. Nathaniel Hackett probably would love to, being a first-time head coach, been a coordinator th last three years uh, in Green Bay, and then before that, three years in Jacksonville. Uh, he's done a nice job being a coordinator. We'll see what he does as a as a head coach. Uh, but I love first-timers in preseason because they want to win. They want to get off to a great start. You know, these games are meaningless. Teams don't care. But First-year head coaches, they do. They want to win games. Mike McCarthy is a veteran of the uh, industry. He is 6-9 and nine straight up in game one, and those numbers are worse the last five years. So I'm going to take the Broncos here and lay the points. Uh, mile high will also was a little bit of factor in this game that the Broncos could be more used to that mile high altitude than the Cowboys. I'm going to go on the other side, Kenny. I'm going to take the Cowboys straight up here on the money line. I love the quarterback room once again. Ben DiNucci and Cooper Rush are preseason All-Americans, so they'll play well in the preseason. But keep an eye out for Cavante Turpin, the USFL MVP, the receiver of the New Jersey Generals. He's see a lot of action tonight. We know they're trying to develop depth at the receiver position. Also, running back Aaron Champlin. I was on a broadcast when they played Georgetown. He was a running back out of Harvard. He's tremendous in terms of what he can do out the backfield on the defensive side. Marquise Bell is a guy that should have gotten drafted out of the Florida a and He's already making a lot of noise in that uh, Cowboys training camp. Uh, he's someone that can play corner or safety. And Liberty's linebacker, Story Jackson, another one that can bring pressure off the edge, former Prairie View a and guy, transferred up to um, Liberty. And those two players bring a lot of speed, a lot of versatility, a lot of athleticism. So, again, defensive depth for me is going to be the key here for the Cowboys. But I love these offensive playmakers they're going to put out there on the field.
As mentioned, Broncos, three and a half point favorites. All right, the New Orleans Saints are one point favorites as they take on the Houston Texans. Total there sitting at 35 and a hook. I mean, this game is essentially a pick Jameis Winston tweaked his foot back on Monday, so not sure if we're going to see him tonight uh, when the Saints play this game. Kenny, what are your expectations here? Yeah, I, I don't expect him to, to play in this football game. And uh, when I broke down uh, um, every team, and I, I give a power rating to every single player on every team. So um, I've got ratings on all these guys that Emery has, has, has mentioned and brought into the league. And uh, this, is a, this is a mismatch in talent. The Saints, I've got rated the sixth best team in the entire NFL, and the Texans are at number 30, tied at number 30. They are in the bottom five of the league. The bottom, My bottom five, the Bears, Jaguars, Jets, Lions, and Texans, no particular order, but those are the worst five teams. Lovey Smith's got his work cut out for him there. Um, the Saints, second string, they've done a great job of bringing in talent to this team, and I think they're better on both sides of the football with that second unit and maybe even the third unit. I thought they should have been more of a four-and-a-half, five-point favorite in this game just off pure talent. I'll take the Saints here. I'm going to go on the other side again, Kenny. I'm going to trust <laughs> Davis Mills to get the start off here uh, for the Texans. No Jameis Winston. I feel like when you have that scare of an injury, coaches want to pull back everybody else of, of significance. So we'll see a lot of backups in this game for New Orleans. So I like the Texans here on the money line. Offensively speaking, Drew Estrada, the wide receiver out of Baylor. But I remember him when he was outstanding with Dartmouth. So keep an eye out for him on offense and on defense. They bring back Tristan McCollum. If you recognize the last name, that's because his brother, Zion McCollum was drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Both guys are rookies. Tristan is an undrafted rookie free agent that can play both corner or safety. And I love what Pep Hamilton does with quarterbacks. So I'm expecting him to, to have that consistency with guys like Jeff Driscoll, who started games, Kyle Allen, who started games. And again, it's going to revert back to that quarterback room. I can trust this depth, albeit for the preseason, over the Saints depth at the position. So I like the Texans here on the money line to win the I-10 battle between these two squads. And expecting some points, too. That's a, that's a lofty total for a preseason game, 35 and a half points. All right, another one-point favorite, the Miami Dolphins take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, that total sitting at 32 and a hook. No Tom Brady. Lots of backup wide receivers for the Bucs in this one, too. That is a wide receiver room that is a little hobbled at this point of the preseason. But those backups still making plays in the joint scrimmages this week against Miami, Kenny. Yeah, they have. And this is another game I feel like there is a difference in talent. There's a lot of people that love the Miami Dolphins this year. Think they made some great moves, but again, I don't. I think their overall team uh, talent level is not as it's. I, I think it's average and best in the NFL. I have their offense number 22 and their defense number 23. I think Teddy Bridgewater, excuse me, will win the job at quarterback. Uh, I don't think Tua Tagovailoa can can stretch the field with his arm, and that's going to be a big problem for them. But Bridgewater, they've got a guy that can step in and do a great job. Now on the other side, Tampa Bay, um, I've got them tied for the best team in football with the Kansas City Chiefs. Those are the two best. Tamp the Tampa Bay run defense is number one in the NFL. Their front line is ridiculous, and I and I think they're overall they've done an overall job of bringing in talent. I love the roster, so I think there's a big mismatch in talent in this game. Uh, again, it all does come down to who really wants to win these games. Um, but I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will come to play, and I laid, I laid minus one with them. I think you can, I think you can get uh, – uh, actually, you took plus one with them. Um, you might be able to get more than that. This line has stayed steady pretty much all day, though. You know what's funny, Kenny? We got to find something we agree on because we disagree again. I like the Dolphins <laughs> on the money line. I look at that quarterback room, and without a Tom Brady, they are not that good. You look at Tua – you look at Bridgewater, keep an eye out for Skylar Thompson. I was a big fan of him coming out of Kansas State. He was my number three quarterback going into this draft class. And this is someone that played well in that all-star in that bowl game against um, LSU, albeit LSU's defense was depleted, but he showed well. If he can stay healthy, he's someone that they really uh, have a lot of hype for and a lot of promise for. But their quarterback room is just trumping right now Tampa Bay's quarterback room of Gabbard and and Kyle Trask, man, and it's on defense. I love what the Dolphins have done in terms of building via free agency, but also in the draft, keep an eye out for Cater Caho, a corner out of Texas A&M Kingsville. We all remember it being Texas A&I, home of Darrell Green, but Caho was a guy that was a star at the Division II level, starred in the Hula Bowl, and is someone that does a great job out there in coverage. So I liked the Dolphins on both sides of the ball here. I expect the, the Bucks' offense to struggle a lot in this game because of the quarterback play. Okay, and Kenny, I just want to go back for a second. Did you say that Bridgewater, you think Bridgewater is going to start tonight, not necessarily win the starting job? 
No, I think he wins the starting job in the season. Really? Can you expand on that at all a little bit, Kenny? If if he doesn't win the starting job, he will be the starting quarterback at one point because they they have put so much money into this team. They need to win right away, and I don't think they get off to a good start. I just don't think two is the guy. I think it's Teddy Bridgewater. He's a better quarterback. Okay, the Wizard of Odds, Kenny White, throwing some darts. All right, let's talk about this last one, Seattle at Pittsburgh. Uh, Steelers, three-and-a-half-point favorites. Another hefty total here, 36-and-a-half points. We don't know which QB starts for Seattle. It's Drew Locke, it's Geno Smith, depending on which report you read. Does it affect your play here, Kenny? Uh, no, not really. Um, you know, I think that's, again, I'm just overall talent. Uh, uh, Mike Tomlin's team, uh, he's done a good job of bringing guys in. I think there could be a good quarterback battle, too. Uh, Mitch Trubisky is obviously going to be the starting quarterback on this football team, but they'll they'll be battling it out. It'll be between Kenny Pickett and Mason Rudolph. Uh, the three of those guys will be battling. Mitchell Trubisky will win the starting job, but I think you're going to see all of those guys get time. Uh, Pete Carroll and the Seattle Seahawks, their talent level has dropped off the last three years. And then when they lose a Russell Wilson uh, the, and they lose a star defensive player to the Rams, this is uh, a team that uh, is down in talent now, and I think the Pittsburgh Steelers – have a far better talent level. Now, Pete Carroll is a guy that has done extremely well in the preseason, but I don't think this is the type of talent of teams that he's pr- uh, played with before. So I'm taking Pittsburgh and Jeremy all of these totals. So I told you 8-0 over so far. All of the people are betting over in all of these games. These numbers just keep going up. We finally agree, Kenny, because I'm with you right there with the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. <laughs> I think they win this ball game. My big reason is the fact that they have an ongoing quarterback battle, so all three of these guys will have to play their best. But I feel like what we're not talking about is the fourth quarterback, who is probably the best out of the trio, uh, and Chris Oladokun, the rookie out of South Dakota State. I had a higher grade on him than Kenny Pickett. I feel like if he gets an opportunity to preseason his tailor made for a guy like that, with the athleticism, with the ability to make the big play, it's tailor-made for him to wow in preseason. But we'll see if he gets an opportunity. But he should be the guy that should get thrown into this competition. On defense, Chris Steele, the outstanding springy corner from USC, they're trying to build depth in that secondary. I think they got a steal with Steele, pun intended, but I do like the Steelers to win this game. So all of these Steele and Steeler puns in here, I got to get them in there. All right, Chris Oladuke and a guy to keep an eye on, according to Emery Hunt. All right, let's talk about top wagers. Kenny, what's your top wager from these games? You know, and I thought this was going to be Emery's, and Emery's on the other side of this game. You know, again, preseason, we're handicapping games that don't count. It doesn't matter what these teams do in these games. Players are playing for jobs, yeah, and that's that's the one good thing when you've got competition. But I'm, I'm playing the Saints. Uh, because of Andy Dalton, and Andy, I don't know how much time Andy Dalton gets in this game, but I also like the backup Ian Book, and I think those two guys will put points on the board. Um, I just love the Saints. I loved them last year, and they got off to a great start, and Jameis got hurt. Um, I'm happy that Jameis is back. I hope the ankle's okay, because this Saints team has got a chance to be very, very good, and especially getting Michael Thomas back now. This is a solid, solid football team, and I think they're good from top to bottom. So I like them far better as an organization right now uh, over Houston, and I'll take the Saints as my best pick. My best bet is going to one game and going for the over on the total, and that's the Denver Broncos and Cowboys game. I feel like this has the the chance to be the most exciting game of the weekend because the Cowboys have two quarterbacks that can play well in the preseason and have shown they've played well in the preseason. And to Kenny's point he made earlier, which is a fantastic one, about Nathaniel Hackett trying to win the first game of his head coaching tenure. So I would expect both teams to come out firing. I think this this is telling me for this total number to go over. We should see a high-scoring, exciting, and entertaining preseason game. So I like that as my best bet for the weekend. Mr. Football Game Plan, Emery Hunt, the Wizard of Odds, Kenny White, discussing the evening preseason slate for Saturday. All right, so let's take a look at their picks. They agreed, disagreed on a lot of things, only agreed on that Steelers game in the last set of picks. Uh, Kenny going with the under Rams Chargers. He likes the Broncos, Saints, and the Buccaneers. Uh, Emery going the other way. He likes the Chargers, Cowboys, Texans, and Dolphins. Uh, best wagers, Emery, Dallas, and Denver to go over the total. Kenny says he's loving the Saints.
Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.